world traveler, and I feel like he's a little bit on a trip with this piece. Do you? Open your music. So, I'm going to share another concept that Mrs. Taubman always used in her master classes. And the more that she attracted a crowd, the more she felt that she had ideas and music to give, and she was kind of a little uh, dismayed that people were wanting to know about the approach. How do you play? How do you play? And she wanted to tell people musical ideas. So when you went for a lesson or you went to the master class, she would always say these same words, and I'm going to share them with you. Dear, find the beloved figure. When you played that piece of uh, whatever it was, Skarzynski, Brahms, I didn't hear the beloved figure. What did she mean? The beloved figure is something in that particular piece that keeps coming back somehow. And in this piece, he's very clever. He picks things from the first movement to kind of throw into the rest of it. Okay? So the things I'm going to share with you, some musical ideas, but what do you think, like if you were to like talk about this piece with like things you also played, what do you think is the beloved figure? Like there are a couple, but do you know one of them? Like for example, the introduction, that has like a rhythmic something, right? And what's happening there? This, just the first line of music, three times, he's like, Anya, Mar, get set, go. He's setting you up. It's like the curtain to the show is going up, right? So what do you think is the beloved figure in those measures? Um, and it's usually very futile, so I'm giving you a clue. What do you think it is? The accented notes. Yes. So could you just... And when you play those, don't be afraid to feel just down and it springs you over. Just try that by itself. Okay, now, I want you to do the second one silently like this. Watch. You know why? Because whenever we go beyond five notes, what's taking us there? The fingers... What? The arm, the limb. Okay? So watch this. Do it again. <laughs> Silent. And say, oh, my arm is so fast. You like sports? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see a fast arm. <laughs> Even faster. <laughs> okay, so this is like a, a, a trampoline. <laughs> Better. Faster? Come on. <laughs> Even faster. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Even if you miss the first note. That's it, spring, go, spring. That was a good one. That was the first one that was great. Now, don't worry in front of an audience. Don't worry about your 16th notes. All they are, it's like that little circus machine going. Okay, you've been to the circus. Can I just see, try now to be very, and then as soon as you get there, very fast, start from the bottom, go to the top like you're going up a ladder. Go ahead. Don't think in two directions. Just go up. Just uh, Yeah, and then you're going to add the last bit. One, two, three, one, two. It's just one, two. Good. And do it three times with one, two, three, conduct. Da, da, da. One, two, three. That was great. Okay. Now, I don't even care if you don't feel like the 16s are your best performance of them. Who cares? Just get that feeling of springing, like on your mark, get set, go. Because it says forte. One, two, go. Now, okay. So, just like Father Paul told me this morning, You'd ask questions because you knew if she didn't want to talk about it, she'd just say, mm. You know the answer, that's fine. Okay. In this case, the reason that it could even be faster than what you just did, now you've got the great arm. Bravo. Okay. But here's what I want you to do just practice at home. Single note. So the way that I learned it when I performed 
it with her. See how marvelous this is? <laughs> is one note and then do these. Do that a broken chord figure was right. Just try it once. Even if it doesn't feel great now, you're going to play it better like that. One note. C sharps? Yeah. Does he feel like he's freer? Yeah. Okay. So I don't take credit for that. I played the piece and Dorothy Taubman said, that's what you got to do. Okay. So I did that. Now, then when you have this, it's really like every time you get the beloved figure of this piece, I asked, that was the intro. The beloved figure is always like a trumpet. He loved Baroque. He had such respect for other composers. Like, you know, he's the one who did the pictures at an exhibition orchestral version. You'd never know it. It just sounded like Mazor's work. Okay? So, what you have to do here is you always have to. Look at these. He hid the triad of F sharp minor in the little note, right? Here's the Baroque. All that's going on. That's the beloved figure. It's always two notes. Okay? Try that. You can, like, from the second line, just trying to feel like as you play it, go toward the piano because you're going long finger and black note. Try that. Now go toward the piano. Good. And then the next one. Listen to your tone. I love it. Don't you? Okay. Then keep going. Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something else about the right hand. Now I find that note again. So, the one thing I wanted to talk about, because we don't have a lot of tone, in the slower part, as soon as this is agitated, he actually gives you less notes. Otherwise, the whole piece is just running 16th, which you're very good at. I like the way you do it. Do you have a question about those? Those are, so really, those are good. Okay. Whenever you have this kind of figure, place where you want to isolate it. And so Talman used to use this term, like when you had a melody note with a double stem, and then you get the little notes. She used to say arm and finger. Which notes do you think are the arm notes? The arm notes. The ones with the double stem. So meaning, feel like pump a little when you're learning it, like arm. Okay? Could you just try thing? That sensation in like slowly both hands or one hand. Arm. And also as you go. Arm. It's all about a beautiful tone. 
and it can't sound cluttered. Is that why it didn't? I want to go to the only place before we stop, because it's not a lot of time, where you didn't feel comfortable. And I'll tell you, just from my experience, not only in playing it, but in Talmud ideas, it was where the left had the chords. Believe me, they're harder measures. The trick is, when you get a chord, this is for everybody, think about these ideas. I know there are a lot of new ideas today. You have a chord. It says it's a quarter note. Don't stay until that quarter note is literally finished. I think what happens here is that when you play it, for example, then you stay until the moment you need that one, until the moment you need that one, and then the monad is done. So all you have in the right hand is the same notes, broken, broken notes of the same chord, broken and solid. See if you could, if you want to start there just a little bit, see if you could do the left hand moving sooner to the next chord and use your pedal to help you. Slowly, just to get the feeling. Okay. Now move this one right away. Move the left, move the left. intellectually know it, okay? It's the timing. It's just like you have to juggle what's necessary, okay? So this, just don't forget, right? And then, see how it all unfolds, right? And then see, see how that's also chordal and going on, okay? One last thing, I think we're running out of time, you tell me is that when you play, for example, here, that low A, why did he, it's, maybe it's sarcastic. Why is he there? Boom. It's like the bottom of the ocean. After you get there, I think these have to be shared by the hands in a different way. Just do this little place. I think that was one of the places where you're playing some notes in one of the hands, it could be in another. done either way, I would do this. You're doing So you're talking about um, making it easy for yourself? And then, don't forget, this is another quote from Mrs. Talman, the pedal is a source of legato. Just look at Sunken Cathedral of Debussy and you come to the conclusion in the 20th century that the pedal was a source of legato, quote unquote few words, but she said it. Okay? How are we doing time-wise? Is that the written decision? <laughs> Did you have any other questions? Um, there is one part. Yes. I want to Make sure that you get to those notes sooner, right? And we have to play like this. Like this, like stand on these fingers like these are your feet. Okay, ground it like that. Try it one more time. And don't forget, arm, finger, finger, arm, finger, finger. Isn't this easy because it went three times? It just says... there. Play, again, toward the piano. It's like, this is our field. You know what I mean? Again. Do. Now. That's right. Like that tall. Like this. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and so one of the big things I'm leaving you with is 
always be one step ahead of the game because this is a very sportive movement. You, you chose a great piece to play and, and just use that to your greatest advantage. Okay? It was a pleasure listening to you. Thank you. Thank you.